Hello everybody, I'm your friend neighborhood Let's Play Spider-Man and welcome you to Let's Play Rick Dangerous, yes. I have been meaning to play this game for a longest time and I've just pushed it away because of other stupid ideas like the worst games ever from a Lemon Amiga. That was not a good idea, but anyway. Here we are, Rick Dangerous, a classic game for the Commodore 64, Amiga, Atari ST, I guess it was on DOS as well, MSX, Apple II. A lot of uh, platforms had this game, and it's an awesome game, it's a really fun game, and I am going to try to, try to get as far as I can, <laughs> far as I can and dwarf, far as I can without any cheats. Because this game is impossible without cheats, because the, it's a very cheatsy game. It has uh, lots of uh, douchebag and asshole kind of traps everywhere in the game. So it's a really difficult game, it's one of those that you just have to rinse and repeat to, remember, to memorize uh, where all traps are and everything. But I'm gonna try as uh, far as I can get. I can usually get to level 2, but uh, in that area I usually start to fail a lot. But... We'll see how far I go, and maybe next week I will play this game through with cheats, and we'll just get to the end and see how it goes. That's how I played the game. It's a fun game, even with cheats. But anyway, let's do it for real. With Nature's Grasslands, he's played over the Amazon while searching for the lost Gulu tribe. Great. 1945. I didn't remember that it was in the uh, time of uh, World War II. Let's go. One of the things that I really like about this game is not only it's a really fun platforming game, but also the sound effects in the Amiga version are a lot of fun. They're really, really cartoony and everything. We made through that puzzle. I love those sounds. Such a, such a nostalgia trip with this. Yeah, take that. I always do that. Stop them with the uh, stick. Or whatever he uses, and then shoot them in the face. It's a very cartoony game. When you look at the uh, character models and everything. Uh, which one was it? This one? Yeah. Yep. Oop. Oop. There was a trap there. I did remember correctly. But unfortunately, I still fell for it. Or fell on it, to be exact. At least I did remember the first trap, which was this. <laughs> Precise jumping. That's what this game is pretty much all about. <laughs> uh, almost thought that there would be a trap there, but... Good thing there wasn't. So let's see. Uh, oh, not gonna make it. <laughs> Hopefully I can get some more bullets along the way. There should be more bullets just ahead of me in the next area, if I remember correctly. Now let's see if I can do this. You can slide. No, actually, you cannot slide in this one. It's only in Rick Dangerous 2 that you, 2 that you can actually slide your dynamite. Ah! That failed. This guy follows the one, uh, this other guy with the spear. He actually follows me, so it's not going to be easy to get rid of him. Good thing you don't have any time limit on this. But I want that treasure. Yay, yay, yay. I made it. You can actually accidentally shoot that box of bullets and lose it. But I did it. Yes. Reload. Yep. Yep. Ah! It was on the other side. I thought it would be on that uh, the side that I was on, but apparently I was wrong. I don't have a clear memory of every trap in this game. That is why I usually play this with cheats. <laughs> I don't think at this rate I'm going to make to the level 2. But I will do my best. So let's try that again. There we go. There we go. 
That's how you do it. Okay, this is tricky. Yep. Whoop. Ah, oh, that one went forward. And later on, those traps will come towards you. And also, don't stun, don't uh, touch these stones. They kill you instantly. Rumbly, rumbly, my tumbly. Well, not really. Wouldn't. It's it, that is a very cool echoey sound on the explosion. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Now give me that treasure. I gotta remember to crawl in a lot of places. You never know when there might be a spike coming at your face. Hey. <laughs> Like that. Go on, go up. Thank you. Too early. Uh, remember, Rouch. There we go. And go. Ugh. Don't want it to hit me again. Actually, I didn't even need those dynamites because when you die, you replenish your ammunition. Well, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the next level. I suck. <laughs> like I said, it's a really fun game. I should be able to. No, not not just moi. My full name that I use for my YouTube. Use for my YouTube. What the hell am I even saying? My YouTube insignia. There, Spider One. Oh, I make it to top two. So if you play level one, if you're going for score, just play through level one and you beat the high score. If they knew how hard of a game they made goes to show. But yeah, if you want me to play this game fully through, I have to turn on cheats, and I think I will do that next week. So, join me again next week for going again into Rick Dangerous, and hopefully I can actually play the game through. I will, because I have played the game, I have played the game through many times with cheats on, and it's a lot of fun. Like I said, even if you turn on cheats, it doesn't diminish the quality of the game. It can make it even more fun. At least to me it does. I know most, some of you might be going, Yeah, you cheat, you have to play this game through legitimately. If I tried, I would take a whole day trying to do that. And I'm not gonna do that. I don't have the patience. I'm a very impatient guy when it comes to rinse and repeat kind of things. But anyway, thank you for joining the video. Joining. This is not the live stream. Thank you for joining the live stream, yeah. Thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.